Russian invasion of Ukraine is the largest and bloodiest war in the world in the last decades. While the Russians commit genocide, Ukrainians, with the help of Western allies, successfully defend themselves and neutralize the enemy. This war has also become an opportunity for some countries, such as the United States, to actively supply Ukraine with military equipment and test it in combat. If the war lasts long enough, there is a possibility that Ukraine will test new tanks from General Dynamics, which has no analogs in the world, Abrams X, as well as Panther KF-51. In this video, we will provide more detailed information about them and other impressive tanks. Abrams X Thanks to artificial intelligence technologies, the Abrams X can be operated almost autonomously. The tank has a turret that does not require a loader. The previous version, on the other hand, required a crew of four, driver, commander, gunner, and loader. The Abrams X has modules with optical and infrared sensors for the commander and gunner. The tank's hull incorporates cameras that will likely provide a 360-degree view. It is expected that the image, together with elements of augmented reality, will be transmitted to the crew's helmet display. The Abrams X is equipped with a hybrid engine that reduces fuel consumption by almost half, reduces noise, and increases overall electrification. As a result, the tank will operate significantly quieter, allowing for stealthy electric-powered missions. In addition, the tank is equipped with a new 120mm gun, the XM360, as well as a 30mm gun, the Kongsberg Protector RS-6 Remote Weapon Station. Although Abrams X has not yet entered production, it already has a serious competitor, Panther KF-51. It will become the main tank of the Bundeswehr in the near future and replace the Leopard 2. Panther KF-51 received the chassis base of the same Leopard 2, which received positive feedback from the military. The turret gun and all systems have been created almost from scratch. The Rhine Metal Future Gun System Cannon has increased its caliber to 130mm compared to the standard 120mm used by European armies. According to the stated specifications, it is expected to be 50% more effective than the previous gun. The increased barrel diameter will allow for the use of more effective projectiles, especially more guided and programmable rounds and missiles. The new gun is automatically loaded and does not require a loader in the crew. The ammunition load of the Panther KF-51 is 20 rounds. The frontal armament of the FGS is not limited to the main gun. The turret has a paired 12.7mm machine gun, and a module with another 7.62mm machine gun is installed at the rear. An interesting and new element of the Panther KF-51's armament is the Kamikaze drones, with four launch containers placed in the turret. In this way, Rheinmetall has decided to enhance the tank's combat capabilities on the battlefield, allowing the crew to engage targets despite the lack of visual observation at long distances. While these tanks await practical trials, let's talk about those that are already in service with different countries. AMX-56 Leclerc Tank Leclerc is the main battle tank of France, with approximately 400 units in service with the country. Additionally, 388 tanks are in service with the UAE Army. AMX-56 is equipped with laser rangefinders and thermal imaging sites, which help identify targets at distances of up to 2.5 miles. Its armament includes a 120mm smoothbore gun, a paired 12.7mm machine gun, and a 7.62mm machine gun on the roof. Some advantages of the tank are its speed and maneuverability. Thanks to the automatic loading system, the tank's crew has been reduced to three people, which has allowed for a reduction in the weight of the armor and, consequently, an increase in the speed of the vehicle, up to 45 miles per hour. Tank Challenger 2 Challenger 2 is the main battle tank in service with the ground forces of the United Kingdom, as well as the Royal Army of Oman. The tank is equipped with a rifled 120mm L30 charm gun, which is the only rifled gun of this caliber used by NATO. Additionally, the vehicle boasts a 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the turret primarily used for anti-aircraft defense. Notably, the Challenger is the most heavily armored tank in the world. This is thanks to the Chobham armor, a special composite, multi-layered armor. Several protective layers made of different materials force projectiles to penetrate them sequentially, significantly reducing the impact force. There was a well-known case during the Iraq War when the tank sustained over 10 hits from anti-tank rocket-propelled grenades, yet no armor penetration was recorded. Tank Merkava Mark IV 
The Merkava Mk4 is the main battle tank of Israel. The main weapon of the vehicle is a 120mm smoothbore gun. It is capable of firing high-explosive rounds, anti-tank guided missiles, various types of armor-piercing rounds, and even shaped charge projectiles. In addition, similar to the Challenger, the tank boasts unconventional armor. It features modular armor throughout the entire hull, which can be removed. This helps expedite repairs on damaged vehicles. Another interesting feature is the tank's fire-resistant container for storing ammunition, significantly increasing the chances of preventing detonation due to a fire inside the tank. Tank Leopard 2 A7 Plus The Leopard 2 is the main battle tank of the German armed forces, also used by Austria, Greece, Spain, and several other European countries. In 2010, the new model, Leopard 2 A7 Plus, underwent testing. It distinguishes itself with a modular protection system and high maneuverability, improving the tank's performance in urban combat. Similar to most tanks, it is equipped with a smoothbore 120mm gun, allowing for the use of various types of ammunition, including the LAHAT guided missiles, light anti-tank guided missiles produced in Israel. Tank M-1 Abrams The American-made tank is one of the oldest and most experienced among all others, as it has been in service with the U.S. Army since 1980. The vehicle is equipped with multi-layered composite armor. Depleted uranium is also added to the armor layers due to its high density, and gas turbine engines running on jet fuel. Abrams can confidently be called one of the heaviest modern tanks, with weights ranging from 57 to 61 tons depending on the variant. Consequently, the vehicle's speed is slightly over 41 miles per hour. The latest upgrade, M1A2 SEP variant, made the tank more computerized with advanced thermal imagers and a GPS system that allows remote weapon control. Tank K2 Black Panther The K2 Black Panther is the main battle tank of the Republic of Korea Armed Forces, which began development back in the 1990s. The Panther was developed by the Defense Development Agency in collaboration with Hyundai Motor Company's Defense Division, Hyundai Rotom. Currently, the tank is considered the most expensive in the world, with a unit cost of $8.5 million. The vehicle can reach speeds of up to 43 miles per hour, 32 miles off-road. It is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun capable of using self-guided, armor-piercing, and shaped charge projectiles. In terms of auxiliary armament, it features a paired 7.62mm caliber machine gun, as well as the multifunctional Galax grenade launcher system capable of launching smoke and fragmentation grenades. That's all for today. Will the new Abrams tank make history, or is it just another expensive attempt to create something new? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you soon.